Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And you'll have to excuse the ominous glow. That's a halogen heater, because it's a bit chilly in here. Today, this is the second of our three part series on teaching children to read. And today we're talking about sight reading. Um, I think, as I said in my last video, that it doesn't really matter which one you teach first, whether it's phonics and then sight reading or sight reading and then phonics, whichever works best for your child is the way that they need to learn to read. <clears throat> and some children pick up one quicker than the other and that's fine. Um, as soon as they begin to read, their confidence just explodes and then they're going to ready, be ready for the next thing um, a lot quicker. So. My favourite resource for learning, teaching sight reading first is the Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool. Um, it's an American resource, like a lot of the ones I suggest are, and it, but it is free, completely free. Um, you can um, buy the worksheets that they supply, you can buy them as a workbook, um, or you can just print them off. And they also have an online platform so you can register your child and um, then they can just go into their platform and click what they're supposed to do for that day and pretty much do it unaided which I think is a really really good idea like once they get older obviously when they're still learning to read you need to help them but like as they're getting older they can just do what they need to do um, they have a whole it's a complete homeschool it's not just um, English or maths it's history art they do bible study if that's what you're interested in it's not for me um, they do history geography there's all sorts of different things and um, it really is a kind of a complete package um, I'm going to share some pictures of me using the platform and um, you can take a look for yourself as well because I've included the link in the description. Um, <clears throat> so the Easy Peasy One on One Homeschool has three um, stages to it where it teaches children to read. It starts off with the preschool section which is all about um, teaching children letter recognition so just the alphabet it's really sweet and easy with lots of engaging activities and a couple of worksheets, um, stories, songs, it's really cute. Then it moves on to the McGuffey Primer. Now the McGuffey Primer is a book and that is, um, it just starts with a simple letters. So the idea is that you have flashcards of the letters, say the first story is a rat and a cat, that's the first sentence they read. The words you would be using are a rat and cat and that makes the sentence you show your child the flashcard <clears throat> every day for three days and then on the fourth day you show them the flashcards getting them to say the words and then you read the sentence and then you read the sentence the next and so on and it just cements that those words say that thing um, and then it goes on and it gets more and more and more and soon they're reading paragraphs because they've recognized all of these words and then um, in the kindergarten it starts with uppercase letters and goes into phonics um, so then they can start decoding words um, obviously when we've talked about phonics it goes the other way around it teaches children to decode words and then it teaches them sight words like the um, and so on um, it really I don't think it really matters um, but I found that um, with Charles when he was younger sight words worked better for him like doing the alphabet recognition and the sight words worked better and it wasn't until he was a little bit older that he was ready for phonics um, and then he just once if I just decided to wait rather than force phonics or sight words I just decided to wait until he was kind of really interested in it and then we went with phonics straight away and now he's reading super confidently at an 11 year old level and he's not nine yet um so there is I think that whatever you do you shouldn't charge in when they're like three four years old because um, the natural reading age of a child is just learned to develop literacy literacy is around eight or nine um, if you just read to them they just learn to read eventually anyway there's been lots of study on it but obviously the society we live in encourages people to learn to read as quickly as possible and whilst that's not always great for our children's education is what a lot of people expect um, my children don't, my eldest, Charles, didn't start reading until he was seven um, and now he's nine and he's obviously really, really caught up. Um, his writing's a little behind but, um, but with his autism he does have some fine motor skill delay so we're getting there, he's getting there. His handwriting is super neat now actually. 
Um, Bessie is almost seven and we're not quite there yet there with her. There potentially may be something else underlying with her that's causing her difficulties learning to read. Um, but she is getting there, bless her heart. So, um, I have been doing phonics with her. She does know most of her sounds. I have actually thought about using this program with her and going straight onto the McGuffey primer and going from there to see if I can get her reading um, in a different way. Maybe it's like she needs to be more visual with the flashcards rather than having to um, work out the words. And I think that being a more visual and maybe um, she's a bit of a kinesthetic learner as well. Like, I don't know if I'm always, I'm always worried if I say that wrong. She learns by moving her body. Um, that 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 may be a better option for her because she can kind of look at the flashcards on her own rather than um it all just being about sounds and then having to work out the word right now so i'm thinking of trying it with her if you'd be interested in me going to a more in-depth review let me know and um and we can do that and we can see bessie using the platform independently as well because she is of the age where she would be able to do that um so I'm going to show you a little bit more footage um, of the Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool and specifically the McGuffey Primer because that's the bit that teaches sight reading and also, <coughs> excuse me, if you would like to just buy the McGuffey Primer and teach from that then you can, um, it's available on Amazon and I will include the link in the description. So just a short video for us today and I will conclude the Learning to Read series next Monday and I will see you on Thursday. Bye!